is Dante Alaman, and I'm speaking to you from OctoberPanicAttack.com, and I'm here to tell you today about an attraction by the name of Wicked Woods. The Wicked Woods is um, very close to Hanover, Maryland, very close uh, to Baltimore and D.C., and um, it's very close to Bennett's Curse and very close to Creepy Woods, and you're getting the idea here. Wicked Woods. Wicked Woods is in the back of a Catholic church, and it is for, it is essentially a fundraiser. It is essentially a fundraiser. Um, you're going to be taken back by the fact that this is a Catholic church, and, 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 and is this going to be, you know, what, what is this? Like, what, what the heck are we doing here? Is this some, some rinky-dink thing? You know, you're immediately going to be um, shocked by the fact that, you know, the entrance of this is, is, is pretty darn cool. The music, the, the hearse outside, the lighting, the atmosphere. It's, okay, this is something that's kind of a little bit, not right, but it might be pretty cool. Okay, this is, might be pretty cool. Wicked Woods has been around for quite a long time. And um, the ticket price is really, really cheap. There are only two attractions here, but when I say only two, that means absolutely nothing because each one of those two attractions is extremely long. Wicked Woods is cheap I mean, to pay for, and if you can find a coupon, you'll get it even cheaper. Okay, um, This is an attraction that is it's a fundraiser, okay? and it is a fundraiser for the school, and it has tons of kids inside of it. Uh, who are running it and, and doing things in it, and so know that, okay? Now, this is this is something that, um, I believe they said they've been around for 15 years. This place, the weather was awesome. You know, this is an outdoor thing, you know, so if it rains, I'm assuming that it will be closed. The weather was, uh, the atmosphere, everything was just so interesting and, and, and so, uh, there's something about it. There was, you know, I, I'm going to say that there there were two attractions, and the first attraction, you actually get led around by a rope that you have to hold on to, almost like as if you were in school again when you were a kid, it's a single file. And members of our group were a little bit taken back by that, like, what? We can't go around by ourselves? Like, this isn't scary. I will say that it added just an immense amount of weirdness to the whole scenario, and in some ways was really, really interesting and almost a little bit dangerous, cutting those corners. Um, Wicked Woods will shock you because everything is homemade here. It's as if the kids made it themselves. Everything's homemade and you'll say, oh, well, it doesn't have the intensity or the hardcore level of the other attractions that I've been to. You know, it's, it's not as hardcore as the other ones. But this place is going to shock you. Because you're going to see some things in here that's going to make you go, whoa, that's pretty amazing. Something involving a fortune teller. Something involving puppets. These are things our group has never seen before. Something involving a skeleton on a wire. Uh, something involving a rope walk. Okay. This is built into two attractions, the asylum and a carnival. Each one of these attractions is so incredibly long that you could do one of these attractions and be like, okay, I got my money's worth, okay? There's no speed pass at this place, um, but the lines will go fairly quickly because they take large groups in. One of the attractions, you are led by a rope, and the other one, you can go freely in. This attraction really, really gave me just an amazing feel. If you're open-minded with haunted attractions and... And, and willing to really see some different things and not be in the hardcore terror, not be in the hardcore scares, but get startled, get weirded out, experience some things that you haven't experienced before, some mystery, some ambiance, some, you know, children being the actors. And these children were really intense. You know, um, not, all the, not all the actors are children, but a, a good portion, most of them are. But the actors that are adults, there were a couple costumes, a couple makeup jobs that were unbelievable. And, and you're going to be shocked because 
You know, you'll be out there and like all of a sudden, you know, the lights will completely go out. Or you'll see this guy that looks like the guy from Subspecies and just saying weird things to you and following you and looking crazy. And I mean, right when you think you have this place figured out, like, oh, okay, okay, you know, it's a fundraiser. All of a sudden, you get shocked. All of a sudden, you get startled. All of a sudden, you walk into a room and you're like, whoa. I mean, we saw some things with bubbles at this place that was awesome also, okay? There were, there were, you know, our group, some members of our group didn't think, you know, oh, it's not that scary, it's not that scary. And then they'd walk into a room, they'd be like, whoa, that is awesome. Wicked Woods, um, it just has a feel to it. And it has actor intros as you get to each section. You know what I mean? Like there are sections where an actor will intro something and a surprise will come out of nowhere. And um, there are a lot of surprises here and a lot of very unique things that they're doing with homemade materials. I got to give Wicked Wood such props for doing the things that they do with the materials that they have. It's so unique. It's so long. And it's the best fundraiser I've ever seen. This is not a bake sale. This is not a cookie sale. This is the best fundraiser I've ever seen. Um, so well done. There, the, the, the actors that were in there, the kids were demented. They were crazy. Um, and these like kids walking around in white robes and leading you with a, with a rope and yelling at you. And, I mean, and holding up a torch. And, I mean, it was, like, was kind of wild. Um, one member of our group said that this was their favorite um, haunted outdoor uh, walking attraction that they went on in Maryland. I mean, th this was this was like this was some pretty pretty awesome stuff here. Um, this is uh, some of the actors. There was a ballerina that the group really liked. Um, it, it, flashing lights, different. It felt abandoned. You get wet. Um, there there were some things involving clowns that were really weird. Um, you know, everything was original. This is not a place that's like buying things from the same haunted stores as other places. Like all the attractions will have, you know, similar props and things that you've seen before. This is not that place. Everything is original. Everything is is as if they just did it themselves. They came up with it, came up with it themselves. The place has an abandoned feel to it. And the music is spectacular at this place and original. The group said that hands down. The music was awesome at this place. And you're going to have a great time at this place. Um, if you're open-minded, you're going to have a great time. Um, if you're bullheaded and all you want is hardcore, 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 brutal, then you're not going to like this place. Um, but if you're open-minded and you want atmosphere and something weird, and if you want feeling... There were portions of this that reminded me of, of a lot of movies, of cinematic experiences that I've had with feelings and like some of the abandoned circus parts of killer clowns from outer space and, and stuff like that. So, you know, this is Wicked Woods. Um, we bought a shirt. The shirts are really cheap and the artwork is amazing. And you want to support uh, the artist actually for the T-shirts um, because there's uh, it's, it's definitely something you want to support of the background when you learn the background of the shirts and the artistry this is wicked woods people are so nice here um some pretty cool food the hot dogs um had some chicken grits in them some 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 chicken feel to them a little chicken taste in them or one of the members of our group said and we just had a great time um you're gonna smell a bonfire out there and uh it's unique it's original it's weird wicked woods thank you so much you want something are you open-minded folks then go to Wicked Woods now.